Hello everyone, welcome back to Alpha FS Design, and uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a cinematic effect using uh, Vegas Movie Studio HD Platinum 11. Now here we got a small clip. And we're going to be turning that into a cinematic type of clip. So, uh, the first thing that you want to do is you want to go to video effects because, well, actually no, the first thing you want to do is get your clip and, uh, trim it down to where you want it, and to do that, you can, uh, drag this along the line and press S wherever you want to cut it, and then say you really did want that part, you could just drag it back. So, yeah, um, okay, now that, now you're going to go to video effects because that's where all the stuff we're going to be using is. Um, or not all, but, you know, most of the stuff. You go to Color Curves, and, um, you just want to bring it down onto here, onto, like, the track that has your video. So, you should get this screen right here. Uh, let me see if I can bring it out. No, I can't. Um, so you're going to get this screen right here. Uh, basically, you want to have it set to default, um, for now, and you want to grab this little mark right here. And you want to drag it up here, about halfway. Uh, you don't need halfway, but about there works. Whatever you want, it's fine too. Now you're gonna go down to this one. And you're gonna do the exact same thing, except for you're gonna bring it over here. And uh, that creates a really cool type of color correcting effect. And uh, it also darkens the outsides for you. So now, if you look through. It looks even better. So, um, now that we have that, uh, we're gonna close it almost. So, what you want to do is, um, when you have the clip right here, you want to hit this button that says Event Pan Slash Crop, and um, it should come up with this. And if it doesn't, uh, then you just have to X out the color curves. And you want to take this box right here, and you want to drag it down. Um, Two times works, sometimes three will work. And then just shift it up and down until it's where you want it. So, say you wanted it here. That'll work. So, yeah, uh, that's uh, step two. And um, the next thing you can do is um, add some fades to it. And also, if you hold shift, it won't snap. So say your cursor was over here. You hit that and you try and drag it and you're trying to get it like a second before the tick mark. You can just hold shift to override it. So now you got this awesome um, cinematic effect. So one second and I'll show you it. So yeah, that was pretty uh, freaking awesome. Um, so now uh, there's one other thing you can do, but it's kind of buggy and... Um, it might not work for everyone. Uh, if you go to Gaussian Blur, put a light blur on, I think. Yeah, or just put a medium blur on it, and um, it will create this type of blurry effect. And what you want to do is you want to just edit these so you get something where you want it. So if you want to do point 0.1 and point 0.1, now we only dragged it to this one clip. So if you hit, oh, let's hang on. So say you want it to be blurry, but then you want it to come back to normal. Um, so right now it's all blurry. So then you just hit the stuff for this one, and you drag it down. And then you create a, a copy of this and paste it right there and put a fade on this one, like a slight fade. I think that'll work. Okay, it didn't really work that well, but anyway, you can probably figure out how. That'll be in another tutorial. Um, making a smooth transition from a blur. But, uh, yeah, that's your, uh, cinematic. Um, so, you know, have fun with it, and, uh, blurry for the one.
Alright. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and, uh, I'll see you later. Bye.